Hello everyone and welcome back. In today's video I'm going to help you understand the difference between provisioned and on-demand capacity in DynamoDB. I'm going to start out by quickly going over what provisioned and on-demand are, followed by explaining the key differences between the two. Finally, I'll talk about some common usage scenarios and tell you which setting is best for each scenario. So let's jump right into it and talk about what provision and on-demand capacity are. So provision capacity simply means that you allocate limits for your read capacity units and write capacity units. As a quick reminder, RCUs, read capacity units, and WCUs, which are write capacity units, are the means by which DynamoDB measures your usage on the table. The amount you pay at the end of the month is also associated with these units. So in the provision world, we may have a usage scenario like the following. And in this image, the blue corresponds to the usage and the red line corresponds to the provisioned usage. So in this example, everything that I'm kind of drawing in here, this is waste that you are paying for that you're not necessarily using. Obviously, I'm coloring in quite a bit here and that's because of the cyclical pattern. So you're wasting quite a bit of money by using just a normal fixed provision capacity on this table. Now in the provision world, we pay for the amount provisioned even if it is unused. So in this example, even though at 1600, I'm using only approximately 150 RCUs, like we can see here, 1600, about 150, we will be paying for 250 RCUs, which is the red line up here. Now, when you're using provision, you don't always have to arbitrarily set this fixed limit. In this case, I set it at 250. You can use auto scaling to dynamically change provision limits based on your usage patterns, and this helps to keep your costs down. Now with on-demand, it's quite a bit simpler. You don't need to worry about provision limits and usage because in fact, there are no limits. So much of the complexity is simplified and abstracted away from you so that you can focus on solving your business problem. Also different from provisioned is that instead of paying by the hour, you pay per request, which means that you're only paying for what you're using and not gonna have to worry about any of the overhead of maintaining any arbitrary limit. So these are the key differences between provision and on-demand, but now let's Let's talk about factors you should keep in mind when choosing one over the other. So in the provision world, capacity can be wasted, which corresponds to the periods where you have more provision capacity than used capacity. Now, as I mentioned before, you can use auto scaling to minimize waste, but it isn't perfect. Often it's quite reactive and can take several minutes to upscale your table to the required throughput. This means your request can start being throttled until auto scaling kicks in. This can have some adverse impacts on your application if this isn't handled appropriately. So with all this in mind, I would say provision is best suited for consistent or predictable traffic patterns. If you're using provision with these use cases, it will cost you much less in the long run when compared to using on-demand. So what about on-demand? Now, one of the most convenient features of using on-demand is that you don't need to worry about throttling. Dynamo automatically scales your table up and down behind the scenes to minimize the likelihood of throttling. This doesn't mean it's impossible, it just means it's much, much less likely. My second favorite feature of On Demand is the fact that you don't need to worry about scaling and to a certain extent, monitoring. This is very convenient if you really want to focus on your business problem and not the underlying technology you're using. So in summary, on-demand is best suited for unpredictable or random traffic patterns. This is because it's quite wasteful to use provisioned if your access pattern is random, since you can't really choose the right value for your provision limits. One thing I wanna add here is that on-demand can be used in any usage scenario at the expense of a higher cost. In some cases, you can minimize that cost by using provisioned. So really, if you don't care about money, and maybe this is just a small application that's just a little prototype, you might as well use on-demand and maybe revisit using provisioned or on-demand in the future when you start productionizing your application. So now let's move on to some common usage scenarios and talk about why provisioned or on-demand are better. So in this pattern, we have generally consistent usage over time, close to a flat line. In this scenario, it's really a no-brainer. Use provisioned. You'll get lower cost than using on-demand and shouldn't have to worry too much about increasing or decreasing your provision limits. Now in the second example, we have a predictable or cyclical usage. 
perhaps a pattern where your customers sign in during the day and use your product, following by a period in the evening where the usage tapers down. So here it makes more sense to use provisioned and auto scaling. Using this combination will minimize your cost and keep your table's provision limits at the right level. And in this last example, we have random or spiky usage. In this example, if you were to use provisioned, you have to ask yourself, how do you decide what the provision limit to use should be? We're really jumping all over the place in this example. So what would you set the max at? It's a really hard question to answer. So in this example, it makes more sense to use on demand since it's impossible to predict any consistent usage pattern. This will keep your costs down and your application consistently available. If you enjoyed this video, I have many more on DynamoDB that I'm going to post in the description section below. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so that you don't miss out on next week's video. Thanks so much, folks, and I'll see you next time.